Cuban rhythms are legendary and float through Havana streets just as they have for decades. The revolution has done little to dampen Cuban enthusiasm for their music or the world's desire to listen. People crowd just down the block to hear accomplished musicians belt out salsa, merengue, and rumba classics. But there's another kind of music growing in the streets here, and despite the U.S. trade embargo, it originated in New York's South Bronx. In the rundown Havana Barrio of Santo Suarez, kids play baseball in the street, and a new sound spills out from hip-hop producer Pablo Herrera's second-story apartment. It is appealing to the people of Cuba because it speaks and it comes from the voice of those who are oppressed, basically, around the world. Born and raised in Havana, Pablo became obsessed with American rap at an early age. In 2001, he produced a Cuban hip-hop all-stars album. His apartment is a center for talented hopefuls to get their message out. Situación en crisis y los religiosos con la predicción del apocalipsis. While U.S. gangster rap often rhymes with violence and drugs, Pablo is promoting artists with a strong social conscience, like the group Cien Porcento, or 100%. Borrowing from their African heritage and traditional Cuban music, Cien Porcento rap about issues that affect everyday life in the streets, like racism. We're a revolution within the revolution, because we're really the next generation, which is coming, putting out or opening up new ideas, and we're making our way in the face of all kinds of hardships, trying to be a part of what makes up the culture of Cuba itself. In Havana nightclubs, it's clear that the new generation of the revolution is embracing hip-hop music and fashion. And at Club Las Vegas, Cien Porcento aims to enlighten and entertain. Cien Porcento has the power and the potential to be the voice within Cuban hip hop that talks deeply about spiritual guidance. And that's what hip hop represents.